When you watch your panel, this tutorial will show you the tools to use. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make it a full screen. And this button right here all the way to the right, it's a square with four arrows pointing in different directions. I am going to click on that. And now we got a screen that's full from top to bottom, from left to right. Now this button right here with the two arrows going around in a circle is what I'm going to call the play and the stop button. If I click it once, the play starts. It's going around in a circle. It'll continue doing this until we hit the stop. But let's look at this. We're going to go all the way around. Hopefully it's not running too slow. Being all that I'm recording this on the same machine I'm playing it on, which is an iMac, it runs a little bit slower. Now that we're coming back around to where we started, let's stop by pushing this button once again, right here. I'm going to hit stop. Just give it a little bit of time. It's going to start back up again. The next one we're going to talk about is this one right here. It shows a arrow pointing to the right. If I wanted to do this without it playing, if I click this arrow, it's going to jump to a different part of the room. And once again, just another chunk of the room. Keep clicking. We're almost back to the front desk there. One more click takes us about to where we were before. Obviously, the one to point and left takes us left around the room. But let's go back to the front again. Now, let's use this arrow right here. This is the one to look up with. Looking up, looking up again. Looking all the way up. If you were standing in the middle of the room and you look all the way up, here's the ceiling. We see that there's a projector here, a projector here, and a projector here that shine on these three screens. Let's use the down arrow and get it back to where we were. One more click. There was where we were. If we wanted to see the carpet, we could look down once and even again and see the carpet or whatever was on that floor. Arrow back up to get it on center. So that's one way of getting around. Um, we also can uh, move backwards and forwards through the room. If we use the minus, we can go all the way out. That's as far out as we can go. Kind of an interesting shot. Let's go to the plus. Back in again, and that is as close as you can get right there. So let's go back out again. That'd be about the normal shot. Zooming in with this plus button, zooming out with the minus button, rotating left with the arrow pointing left, rotating right with the right arrow, looking up, looking down, I'm assuming that this button right here, if I had a touch screen, I would use it. But I'm using a mouse. Actually, I'm using a mouse with a, with a trackball. And again, this is the, I'm going to call it the play stop button. Let's go back and let's play it again. And around the room it goes. Now, while it's rotating, we can still use these other keys. Let's say we want to look up right now. Just hit the up. But what's going to happen is it lets you look up briefly. Then it goes right back to playing. We want to look down, look down. But then it's going to come right back up after it looked down. And it's just going to keep on going around the room. So 
So these tools come in pretty handy. Let's start here once again. This one stops and starts. This one look down. This one look up. To the right. To the left. When the play button has been pushed and it starts playing, we can still, once again, use these. As it's moving, we can look down. When it's playing, it's going to go right back to normal again. You can also use your mouse to move around on the panel. Just move your mouse into the middle of the screen here. Move just a little bit and you can get yourself a really nice pan going around here. So what I'm doing is pushing left mouse button and then moving to the right. Once again, I'm going to go back to the middle of the screen and go left. Now, the further you get away from center, the faster it moves. You can see that it's getting faster and faster. And if you get way out here, it's way too fast. So let's go to the middle of the screen and let's look up. The, f the more that you move it away from center, the faster it'll go. Let's move down. Same thing. If you want it to slow up, go towards the center. And it'll slow up for you. This is another way of doing it. It's a little trickier, though. Let's use the keyboard to do the same thing. We will not be using the buttons on the screen. We will use the four arrows on your keyboard. The up, the down, the right, and the left. Let's do this. Here's the right arrow. Right arrow again. Left arrow. And again. The up arrow. This is all done on the keyboard. Down arrow. Down arrow again. So as you can see, you can do everything with the keyboard without using the buttons on the screen. You need to experiment with these pull downs right mouse button and we're in normal view right now go to fisheye view take a look at that right mouse button just keep looking at them see what they look like how they're going to work best for you let's uh let's do this one here and Use the play button. It might be the look that you're looking for. Let's stop it. Let's go back to normal view. You have all these to work with. One of the favorite ones I like is Little Planet View. Pretty wild looking. If you go plus in, you can get closer and closer. That's a pretty good view. You could actually take a screen grab of that and make a picture of it or put it into a production. If you take your mouse button and go right here in the middle of this panel, you can go the opposite direction and see what you got there. Once again, using your plus and minus keys, you can go way out or go back in again and also make a screen grab of it. I am hoping this tutorial helped out. 